the stock market, baby. Welcome to the show that should have happened today at about 1 p.m. or 3 p.m., but didn't. And so now it's happening tonight. This is my Q&A hangout. We'll talk about whatever you guys really want to talk about. Um, but I do have a couple things to talk about, so it's not a big deal. I've got a couple things to say. And rather make a 10-minute to 20-minute video about it, I'd rather go live and uh, make what I was going to make anyway, but then also have the interaction of the people. Of the people. By the people. And for the people of this fucking community. Of uh, the corrupted, the corrupted world, the corrupted nation. We are a corrupted nation, very corrupted, very corrupt. I want to thank the twenty-five dollar patrons right off the bat. I got Tommy NC coming in in a minute, I believe. Uh, try in about. Give me one more minute. Try. We got Tommy NC coming in tonight with us. To sit by, be my wingman tonight. Problem is, I got to get him on the phone. What's up, everybody? I want to thank uh, ADTR210, Arknolia Strokelbean, Big Wandy. I'm sorry, a Wandy Big M and Big Fuego Jacob. I want to thank uh, CJ Bradley, Brian Harper, Cold Brew Crew, Dan H. and Cora, Daniel Cater. Drew Barr, Dwayne Crenshaw, Frog Kid, Gary Metzler, Gerald Armstrong, Joe Compton, the Renegade, John Constipated Rock, John Zippe, Joseph Lightsey, Kalel Bama, Star Scream, Matt Ross, Meyer, Mike Torian, Mikey Two Crikey, Nikki J, Shell Bryan, Sith Negan, Talk to Me Nice, The Bear, thirteen twenty two, Tony Diesel, and Z, the Reaper. Without you guys, I'm fucking done. So. Thanks for becoming $25 patrons. Anybody out there who wants to do it, think about doing it. We'll put your name down below. I'll make sure to shout you out at least weekly whenever I can, whenever I think about it off the top of my head. You are the... Uh, I just got done watching Picard with Leah. Me and Leah watch Picard, so th that's not what this stream is going to be about, so don't worry about it. But We are going to do our own podcast or review of Picard. We've got our own podcast coming out anyway, so that's happening again. Episode 17 or 18 of me and Leah's podcast, me and my wife. I forget what episode we're on, but it's coming out to Patreon this week. So look for that this week. And uh, me and Tommy as well. We've got Honestly coming out, but we're going to little little dose of Tommy in a few seconds here. Let me try to get him in here. Poor guy. Hey now, Tommy! Hello, sir. How are you tonight? Doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing good, ma'am. You know, you sounded weird like a couple messages ago. I didn't get to ask you, but you sounded like so depressed or something. It was very weird. I'm just tired. I I'm oh, just okay. tired from working out and stuff like that. Just... Man, why don't you go to bed then? Like, I mean, like you could go to sleep. I did. I did go to sleep. I, I like. I I had my clock set for uh, uh, five thirty, a.m. in the morning, and so I I fell asleep, and then, uh, my sleep ran out. Like I just. Oh right. So your sleep schedule is like kind of fucked up right now, is what you're saying. Yeah, and also I'm still kind of hungry right now. Like I don't have any money, and I'm kind of broke. So I'm like, um, I'm still hungry but i don't know what to eat that could be healthy for me like but i mean I you're tuna fish Ugh. what Ugh. you can't eat tuna fish no i don't like tuna fish oh my god you're fucking fucked what about salad that's all cheap stuff i you know i guess i could get me a sub but i'm broke right now a sub Uh, oh yeah, like they they have subs down in Ingles and stuff like that. I mean, like I guess apples and bananas; those are cheap. Apples, yeah. bananas, like all I can think of is like, like I mean, I eat like olives and peas and tuna. Like I eat that type of stuff when I'm dieting, and I just throw a little salt on it. And uh, I have, 
So uh, actually, yeah. that's bad for you because that's restraining the water that's in your system. That water is keeps staying in your body, and that is uh, not good to put salt on. That actually, I heard. Yeah, I mean, but I drink water with it, so I mean, like I, but I get what you're saying. Like, it's not the best to put salt on, but it's it's a lot better for me to dab a little bit of salt on some, you know, peas and tuna than it is, or pepper even. I use pepper sometimes, than to, uh, you know, what I mean, be like, fuck, I'm having a sub or like a sandwich or something like that. But um, like, I I bought me some pickles and uh, recently, and that retained water on me. Apparently, after I had a few pickles, because uh, there's salt in pickles, you know. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I guess you would retain a little bit of water, I suppose. But uh, I mean, like, I don't know. It's not as bad as a sub. But every be. bite was so delicious. <laughs> man, you are fucking. You're fucked up, Tommy. You are. Like I, I know. You are fucked up, man. I, I miss the old days of being fat, but I know I am still fat. But you, did you wait a minute? Did you say you miss the old days of being fat? I was being that's me being funny, but <laughs> you look way healthier right now. You look like you from um, you look like you did like two years ago, or maybe maybe three years ago. You know what I mean? Like what? right now, like made? Are you talking about? No, no, you don't look like that quite yet. But you look like three years ago. You know well, thank I mean? you. I appreciate that. Yeah, you look. You just look that way right now to me. Like you even. Uh, the only problem is I can see is like you're gonna. If you get smaller, you're not gonna fit in your clothes anymore. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm already having trouble with my pants right now. I'm already like I. Uh, I have to tighten the belt loop on my pants right now. Yeah. So then you're gonna need money for new new clothes. That's gonna yeah. be. That's the major problem that you're gonna have see coming up. You know, is that. Humpty Dumpty don't fit into the suit no more. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> ha, 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 Joe. You're Man. hilarious. I just got done fighting. I was fighting with Star Trek fans earlier because in the new Star Trek Picard, I'm not gonna. Talk, I'm not really going to talk about Star Trek tonight, but uh, just real quick, it's like I fought with these guys because there's like swearing in it. You know what I mean? And, and I mean, I love, I mean, comedy, swearing, cunt, balls, piss, who cares? But when it comes to Star Trek, to me, especially the next generation, it was always so, like, classy. And when somebody swore, if they went back in time, they would be like, wow, like, what's what's up with these people? And it'd be like, well, at this time, everybody just used foul language. Oh, okay, we don't really know that. And then in the new Picard, it's like, fuck, shit, fuck, god damn it, fuck. And it's like, what the f They really fucked up Star Trek. But anyway... Well, what happens is you get, you get, the, you get these other shows on other platforms... And when you have that, when you have it on other platforms, uh, then they're like, oh, yeah, you could swear. It's not cable television. They're like, oh, really? But honestly, they swear on cable television. They're like, they, they say ass, dick, you know, cunt occasionally. They're like, you know, on cable television. Dick. There's a lot of things that <laughs> slip onto cable television, you know, today. I got to clip that. Hold on a minute. There's a new feature on YouTube where I can create a highlight like instantly. It's amazing. Have you seen this? At least for no, me. No, I as, have not. Yeah, as a creator, I can do it. Um, I think it's, yeah, I can clip the last few seconds. You said like something about dick and I just thought that was hilarious. So yeah, so I can create oh. a title, Tommy Swears, and then I can title it and then I can go down and I can, uh, I guess I could actually just make it become a clip, but I don't think that. I don't know. It's so weird, man. Like, I don't know if I like it or not. I just hit create. So now I, I guess it just uploads it, but I don't always want that to be public. So I don't know. Anyway, I don't know how it works, but it's very weird. Um, yeah. So I'm going to have Tommy here for a few more minutes to promote our, we're going to be doing honestly, that's going to be coming up and we'll talk to Tommy for the next five minutes or 10 minutes or so. And then he's going to go take a nap. I think, right. You're going to go to bed after this, right? He's your time. Probably. Yeah. I mean, but, and then we'll get to the Q and a with everybody. I meant to do this Q and A today at about one p.m. and I, I fucked it up. I didn't get my Q and A out at one p.m. I went to pick up my I was picking up the kids today from school, um, and so I didn't do the and then I couldn't do it later on because I was doing other stuff. And then I just decided to take an off break, you know. But I do want to get oh yeah, it just uploaded Tommy swears on YouTube. See, I don't like that because it just uploaded the video. Like it's like I don't want it to do that. I don't want it to be. Private. Then Leah gave him the list. Honey, do this. Honey, do that. <laughs> well, to, I mean, to be honest, it didn't really happen like that. I mean, I 
I don't know. Like she didn't do anything to me today, to be honest. She was just tired from taking care of the kids early. Having trouble with my. Oh pants. yeah. So here's the clip. <laughs> There's like swearing in it, you know, because we don't really. You get these other shows oh, on other platforms. You can't hear this. Bit. And when you have that, when you have it on other platforms. Yeah. See, I don't like how that just uploaded. Like I didn't want to upload that. It never gave me the choice to make that public or private. So now I've got to go make it like unlisted because it's stupid. But anyway, here we are. And yeah, we're going to talk about Onision. So I, I told all these people this is going to happen with fucking Onision. I said, this guy's going to get doxxed. Like people are going to attack his family. Everybody's like, I, I care about his kids. I care about his kids. But a thousand people made videos about him and now he's been doxxed and now his family's in trouble. And it's like, dude, all you're doing is hurting all these people. Like you don't know anything. Just let the FBI handle this shit. You know, and now Chris Hansen's doxxed. I mean, everybody's doxxed. It's fucking kind of hilarious in a way, but not really because it shows you how sick people are. And now all the people commenting on the Onision stuff are backpedaling like, oh, well, we didn't, you know, you shouldn't have done this. Well, well no shit, except except everybody was calling for it. See, my point is like, I don't need to, I don't want to defend Onision if he's a fucking scumbag. Maybe he is. We're going to find out when the FBI gets done. You know what I mean? Who cares? But you got all these people like fucking stalking this guy for like 10 years. Like, you know, a lot of them are sick and weird. That's my point. Like some of them are good and some of them are doing the right thing. And some of these women have legitimate things that we need to look at. But there's all these virtue signaling weird fucks who are just trying to capitalize on this guy's like on the story right now that it's insane. I mean, they're I mean, I'm capitalizing on it, I guess. Um, but they're obsessed with him, like in a weird way. Like I'm gonna be the one to take him down. I'm gonna, ooh, Chris Hansen's gonna interview me if I speak up enough about him and say that I'm I'm an expert on Onision. Just a lot of sick weirdos out there, and I can see it. And they're um, even messing with Billy. They're even going after Billy because Billy did uh, an interview with him going to his house. Did you see monetize this? We covered it the whole show. Oh no, I did not. Did you know that I was on the show with Billy the Fridge the night before that? Yeah. It's so weird. Oh, yeah, we talked about that because what's-his-face tried to make it seem like we said something about you that we didn't. Yeah. That was fucked up. James James Worley, you lying scumbag. How about you stop calling Tommy about his private matters, you sicko? Tommy, I think you should have him maybe uh, maybe hurt. <laughs> hurt? Yeah, I'm not going to have evidence of that. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, off the air, you've said things like, you know what I'm going to do? You know, tell me, tell everybody. No, I'm just kidding. Tommy hasn't said anything off the air about that. I'm joking. What's up? Shove him in an uh, oil barrel and then shove him down a hill. Oh, my God. <laughs> see, <laughs> oh, see, now you're telling people. Don't. <laughs> oh, wait, here's Billy right now. Joe, here's Tree Fiddy. Call this Thursday night throwdown and play the throwdown song. Please and thank you. It's not Thursday night throwdown. That's Tuesday night, Will Tactics. Throwdown is on Tuesday nights. This is just my midday stream that I didn't get to do today, so now I'm doing it now. Uh, but what's up? Good to hear from you, my friend. Interesting donation. You like that? That's uh, when Onision tried to rape uh, Billy the Fridge, but we turned it into me raping Drew. <laughs> you like that? Bam. We're just nailing him right there. I mean, it was weird. He, it's hilarious that he was uh, molesting Billy out front of the house. I thought that was a lot of fun, and uh, JB had that great take. So yeah, man, what are you what have you been up to? Uh, you know, just a lot. I mean, the workouts is it still going strong? Because it seems like you really this is different than the last times. The last times you've had these spouts of working out or these little sprees, they lasted three to six weeks or less. This has lasted. We're coming up on that. I don't I don't know what the eighth week, ninth week, tenth week of your workouts. Yeah, it's 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 insane. I've been just trying to keep going and lose weight and just trying to stay healthy and just uh but there's so many tempting things out there. It's just like I want to just go like like I, like pussy. No, like you know, pancakes. There's like pancakes, <laughs> carbs. I just want to have a carb overhaul. Nice little setup. Nice setup you have, Joe. You like this setup? It's not even close to done, but hey, it's a start. I worked on it all this morning. I have to insulate the outer walls because the heating system's outside, and the guys are coming to replace the heater tomorrow, and the heater's right behind this wall. So when the heater kicks on, it goes, 
but they're getting rid of the heater and they're moving it over about five inches. So I've got room to work. So I started lining the inside. So steel is on the outside or aluminum rather is on the outside. And then in the middle, I'm putting the insulation because I didn't want open exposed insulation only within a foot of an open flame. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. It'll, it'll be figuring soon, but I did work on a whole lot of stuff and there's a lot more to work on, but it's coming along. It looks like you're in a booby room, like one of those booby rooms, you know, like a mental institution. And you're just like, you know, if you ever get mad, you don't, you won't hurt yourself because you just throw yourself in the cushion there. <laughs> yeah. Did you say booby room? Is that really what it's called? A booby room? Yes. That's what some people say. The booby room, because it's, you're, you're going, you're insane. <laughs> you know, well, I thought like, a booby room was like one of those little rooms where the girl comes in and dances on the other side of the glass and you put a quarter in. Like from back in the day? I don't know. I've never heard of those rooms. I just heard of that. So they call like well, that's what they call the insane asylums. Like did the you, crude way. Did you and James Worley ever see that one of those rooms when you went to that strip club? I never went to a strip club. Would you be willing to take a lie detector test and say that? Uh, as long as James Worley would sit down and take a lie detector test, if he, you know, who he, what he's been doing in the past, going to people and then going to you mm -hmm. and other people in the community talking shit about me, it's have him well, he... sit down and have him sit down and ask him a, a baited of questions that uh, stuff he has done to me in the past, which he has lied about, which he would fail because he had. He was the reason why my catchphrase, I don't say keeping you on the inside, you know, uh, scoop. He is the reason why. Why don't, you I, use, why don't you use it? Why don't you use that anymore? That is a good question. Because there was a show, another guy had a show that had that exact name of that show. And apparently he had it copywritten. And uh, that really pissed me but off. Why does but. that make? Why is that James's fault, though? I mean, I'm, I I agree that James is a douchebag. Because him and another dude, uh, him and another dude named Buddha Charlie, contacted that guy, and t and they targeted me on that subject. But and what the fuck is? But dude, like, okay, so I didn't know about that, or I think you did tell me this once, but I forgot about it. Why would you continue to be friends with this guy after that? After that moment there. Well, after that, I kind of stopped talking with him. I, I didn't. I didn't really talk with him. It was further down the road that I started talking. He lived to him. with you after this. No, he didn't. He stayed uh, at your place after this. Well, that was a little bit down the road, dude. That was a little bit. Yeah, down but the road. after that happened, you then let him stay at your place after he did that. No, that was a long time ago. No, James yeah. Worley. We saw James Worley at your house just a couple of years ago. Yeah, it was a couple of years ago, but what the inside scoop was a long time ago. I know that, but what I'm saying to you is after he went and told a guy that you had this catchphrase to do something nefarious legally to you, you then allowed the guy back in your life intimately in your apartment. I mean, I don't know. I It's, it's weird. I, I don't know why. It is weird. You know what? You need to... F let me tell you something, man. This pisses me off to no end because this guy knowingly tried to tell another guy about your catchphrase to get you in trouble. And then and, and he goes around trying to tell everybody about all these things that you do to get people to make videos on you. He may be the one who did that stuff to your channel. You seemingly don't tell us about who that really was, but he did live with you and he had access to your channel. Am I correct about that? Yes. Okay, so he probably did some of that stuff to your channel, uh, subscribing you to gayfuckboys.com and all kinds of other stuff that we all saw years ago and monetized this. And and as recently is we've basically proven that he is the one who calls you and in a in a weird voice mentions stuff about your private life that only you, me, and a couple other people know about and so we pretty much know that it's him calling you. So he even does that to you. I mean, this has got to be, and, and I mean, like, this is beyond you. I'm not even talking about you right now. I'm talking about him as a person. That has to be, Whirly has to be one of the most evil fucking people that you've ever seen. 
And I know that you don't like bringing up your autism and stuff, and I get it. But you got to be some kind of sick dude to try to get you in legal trouble multiple times and to call you about a private, personal matter that's going on in your family that's sad and call you and troll you with that. And then to call you and tell you that I talked about it on air when I didn't is even weirder. And so you add up all these things to troll somebody like you. And I know that you don't like using your autism and all that other stuff, and I get that, but that is, that's fucking weird. That is, this is the sickest thing that I've ever seen on YouTube, maybe. And it's one of the most under fucking, uh, what, what, what's the word? It's one of the most underrated horrible things that's been going on that nobody talks about this really nobody talks about what this guy does to you like i mean we kind of do as a joke like oh you know it's a joke but it's actually one of the fucking sickest things out there and i'm not trying to virtue signal here because i still think it is like i don't really care that much i guess but i'm surprised that other people don't care and i'm surprised that that i just don't get it man this is the god it's got to be one of the meanest cruelest fucking weirdest things that's ever happened People talk about the interactions you have on shows with people, and we, you know, we make jokes, and people do make severe jokes and weird things like that. But this goes into your actual life of trying to get you in trouble for things, and being weird. Like it's just beyond that. It's not on a show. It's not being done on a show. It's being done privately and personally, and and trying to affect your actual life. It's bizarre. Yeah, it's uh, I, I. That's why the bridge for Jay's Worley has been permanently burned. Like it's not being rebuilt. Like I have rebuilt that bridge so many times because I thought he was better. I thought he was a better person, and I could. Sh- I, I think I've sent you. I think I've sent you, uh, like screenshots of like a message he sent me trying to tear me down. And yeah. he, he calls me lazy because I don't drive a car, you know, but the thing is, like, I just don't have good reaction time when it comes to driving. I think he wants you to get a car so you get in a car accident. I mean, you know, I don't I, know. I mean, I don't know. Like, what, the, what other, why else would you do it? I mean, I don't know. It's so weird. And plus right now, the my financials, like, I would not have the money to support a car right now. Like, that would... Everything, yeah, a car, a car is just so expensive. Like it, the insurance, the tag, just everything is like expensive. Like just. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <sighs> oh, sorry. All right. I had I had a burp, so I was just like, you know what? I'll just use it a part of the sentence. <laughs> well, Tommy, not, I don't want to talk about WWE here. But but I do want to preview my show out of nowhere in a little while. I'm going to be live in about an hour with out of nowhere. WWE stock fell fourteen dollars today, about, and I just want to say that I did. I warned everybody that had WWE stock to get to sell before it got below what it's at. Uh, I sold mine a while ago, and whatever. I have one. I have one share left, so I can monitor the stock, and that's it. And it was at ninety dollars at one point. I bought it at nine dollars and fifty cents. It's now it was at ninety dollars not that long ago. Um, it fell a lot today, and they got rid of two of their CEOs. They forced out two of their CEOs. I don't know what the reason is, but we're going to talk about that on out of nowhere. But real quick, what? Um, assuming I don't know if you'll be listening or you'll be on, but so um, what do you think about? I mean, I know it's not a big thing to talk about to you, maybe, but they're getting rid of two of their CEOs. Wow, that's it. I think it's insane. I think I think this is a sign of AEW affecting. I, I think, in my opinion, this is a big sign of AEW affecting WWE, and people are just not want to watch the product anymore because it's just so dull and boring, and they want to go over and watch AEW. But the problem is, we're not going to see any new wrestlers on AEW because. WWE is literally strapping down their wrestlers so they can't leave and go to AEW. You will never see Roman Reigns go over to uh, AEW because uh, Vince McMahon has him covered in bubble wrap, literally, <laughs> and he has him strapped down. And well, he has that he uh, he has that Vince McMahon dildo rammed up uh, Roman Reigns' ass. It says. Uh, property of WWE. 
Well, these CEOs, uh, and this is just a quick preview for out of nowhere later tonight. These CEOs came on, and they did a great job financially for the WWE. They came in as corporate CEOs. Corporately, they are amazing. Uh, Barrios and the woman... Um, I forget Michelle or so, I forget her name now, but I know that since 2008, they have made the WWE amazingly successful corporately. Now, the product began suffering at exactly the time that they came on. It's their idea. It's their thing about being family friendly more, going to the PG stuff more. That that all began in 2008 based off, off their 10 year plan that they had. And they executed it really well as far as money goes and things like that. Uh, uh, the TV product, we got sucked. And, and I think it did begin to suck around 2008, and that's exactly when they took over. Um, so will, will the TV product be changing now? But they made the company a shitload of money. They killed it for, corporately for the company. So now they're gone. So we're going to talk about that on, out of nowhere tonight. And, Tommy, one last thing from you before I let you go, man, because um, I'm going to go uh, do the Q&A a little bit one-on-one -on -one here with the chat, and uh, I'm just going to fire off and talk about some things. And me and you want to save everything else we're going to talk about for, honestly, podcast. Um, what is what is what are a couple things that you want to uh, you want to touch on when we record our honestly podcast on Patreon? It's one of the most popular things that we do on Patreon. It is. People love that show. I I, I've, I just I've, it's kind of funny how people like to see the zing that me and you have uh, uh, when we talk and stuff like that. It's uh, I don't know. It just uh, see where it goes. Like it, that's how honestly it is. It's just we just start talking and we just let it go. You know, how do you like the idea that the name comes from basically like it, it's such an interesting thing because you always we, we we started honestly kind of a long time ago. We don't have we don't have a lot of episodes, but we start we did the first episode like way back, like four yeah, it, it turned out to me like at me having the camera in my mouth and it was like aimed down at my at my uh, was that an episode of honestly where I yeah. had the camera aimed down at my at my legs or something like that. And you're yes. like, Tommy, if your dick comes out, I swear I'm hanging up. That's exactly it, Tommy. In fact, you know what? Look at this. I found it. It's from four years ago. Honestly, episode one. From four years ago. Before I I mean, that was so that was uh we're talking about eighteen, seventeen, sixteen. This was a this was uh was it two thousand fifteen? I don't I don't even it was uh, dude, it was the first episode of our podcast together. I mean, it wasn't the first time we met. You'd been calling for two years already at this point. You know yeah. what I mean? We'd already known each other for seven years now. I mean, but honestly, it was November 7th, 2015. Wow. Can you Like, that is insane. And we did that because you always said honestly, when you, whenever you were saying something, you'd be like, honestly, I, uh, da, da. and so that's where we came up with the name. But yeah, very fun. Um, but yeah, the recent ones on Patreon have been really good. We've really grown over the years, but it is funny to go back, dude, and like, look at that and see us do that podcast from a while back. And you're wearing a fucking hat in this video. That's like, where did you <laughs> look at that? Where did I still you get have those scars? Hat. You have that? Yeah, I still have that. That's my dead man. See, I think you're getting back to this weight almost. I think you're almost, you're not there yet, but I think you're getting back to this weight here. Back in 2015. I might have been around 200 at that time when I was just, I don't know, I don't even know how much I weighed. I don't even have that chair anymore. That's that, that chair just fell apart on me. Well, as you got bigger, it fell apart. No, I'm just No, I don't know. Yeah, that's Ha, fine. ha, ha. Well, Joe, you know, you've changed over the years. Your hair has receded also, but you know. <laughs> no, my hair isn't receding. It's going bald in the middle. Ah, I mean, I, I mean, I don't know what I would rather because I can get away with kind of like, you know what I mean? Like pushing it over and it doesn't recede. See how it doesn't. It's there. But here it's going bald right here. Ah, so like the front is still there. Like this front is still here. Thank God it's still there. But it's the middle that's going bald over the years. See that patch patch. Oh, see that? That's where I'm losing my hair, folks. That's where the that's where the astronauts land on the moon on Joe's head. <laughs> I've got the Howard Finkel going on. I think it might Howard. be. I think it might be from wearing this thing. No, it's from having three kids, and being and being fired from my jobs and you know YouTube revenue dying and all kinds of things. 
Oh, geez. Can you imagine if the, they were like, at, if they changed things up and like, and they fired people instead of like giving them a pink slip, they just handed them a revolver and said, "Yeah, just uh, drive off our property, and uh, if you feel like not living, just shoot yourself." And they're like, "What?" And they're like, "Oh, <laughs> we did, we did not legally on the revolver. It says we did not legally give you this gun to shoot yourself." <laughs> and after the person shoots himself, it just explodes. The gun explodes. <laughs> What's this burn mark? Oh, that's nothing. That's nothing. That's just that's a. Uh, uh, I don't know. It's just like the legal department designed that revolver to blow up. <laughs> Shave that head. People are telling me to go stone cold. Problem is, my wife doesn't like hairless people. You know what I mean? So she doesn't like. So I think she'd almost rather me have hair somehow. That's why I have facial hair, because Leah likes this on my face better than whatever. I don't like it at all. I don't know what the fuck to do. It's going away, bro. And it's not even that long ago that I had hair. You know what I mean? It wasn't that long ago that I had hair. So, you know, I don't know what to, I, fuck, I don't know what to tell you, man. It's, uh, it, it's, I think it's having the kids. Every kid, you lose more hair. That seems to be what it's been like for me. You know, I lose, oh, another kid, oh, another lost hair, you know? Cause this was, uh, I mean, this was five years ago. This is just five years ago. This, I was I was thirty years old here, if you remember, um, December two thousand fourteen. I mean, my hair was flowing there, pretty well. And quite, uh, wow, one of Joe Cronin's old rants. Yeah. Ah, dead on Dave. Working with dead on Dave. I remember yeah. those days. Yeah, he used to he used the couch cushion to mute his microphone. <laughs> what? Rest in peace, Dave. He passed away uh, a couple months back, and he did not pass away. I spoke to him the other day. I was on the messages <laughs> with him. I'm just. Kidding. I was. I was saying. I, I was asking. I said, "Hey, why don't I give you a nickname? Because you have robotics in you." And he's like, "What's that, Tommy?" I said, "We'll call you Doctor Robotnik." <laughs> Doctor Robotnik. What the and fuck? he said, Dr. Robot Dick, he told me. <laughs> Dr. Robot Dick. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wait a minute. The, the name Dr. Robot Nick is more complimentary, but he wants you me, you want me to call you Dr. Robot Dick? And I'm like, what the hell? That's more insulting. Um. Yeah, I mean, Robot Dick, I mean, that could be a bad thing or a good thing. I mean, like, what if you were, like, really good at banging girls? You know, maybe they think you're so good you're, like, a robot dick. Um, you know, but anyway, listen, Tommy, I, well, you want to, I don't know if you want to stay on, but if you want to go to bed, man, uh, you can go to bed and we'll just, uh, we'll see you in the next day or two. We'll get honestly out. All right. Awesome, man. All right, Tommy, hit me up. I'll be, uh, well, I'll be on out of nowhere in a few, but. Yeah, have a great night, Joe. Did you, whoa, did you just shoot me? No, I just went, like, you know, the fawns. Hey. I felt like you were shooting me. I, I also speak about the fonts. I just watched uh, Waterboy. <laughs> oh boy, I bet you like that. What do you, what do you uh, what do you like the best about the Waterboy movie? Uh, just the the uh, the strength and the the vis the veracity of uh, how they just like is like we're gonna have it. We're gonna use all those people that bully you, tackling few, tackling few. I will do that. Yes, yes, I will do that. Yeah, well, you gotta have some tackling fuel. I mean, I get it. And you know, Tommy, there is a link between uh, hat people saying hats and baldness. So maybe that's what it is. Stretching my hair is thinning it. Could be that. Could be that. Could I, be. Could be my hat ruining everything. Well, I know my genetic code. I've I've, I've met my genetic code, and uh, that uh, I think that's why I have such uh, a walrus face. Uh, I'm sorry. I mean, yeah, the hair. I get it. And I, I've asked both my biological parents, "Is there any baldness in my in their background?" They said, "Nope." I think it's like the gram, the father of your mother, is the rumor, or is like sort of the thing that a lot of people go by. The father of your mother was what was hair? What is his? What did his hair look like? That's I guess. I don't know. That's what I hear. But uh, all right, I'll let you go, man. Hey, Tommy, I'll talk to you soon, and we'll do the honestly podcast on Patreon. Um, and, uh, yeah, you can listen to all the other episodes we've done so far there too. It helps me out, helps, uh, support Tommy, everybody. And, uh, good night, man. I will talk to you soon. Catch you later, Joe. Catch See you later, later. folks. Mwah.
Bye. Good to hear from you, Tommy. Um, thank you so much to Tommy NC2010. Um, he wanted to call, and we got him on. Shout out to the chat here, Tommy. Three bucks for Wendy JK. Keep up the great work, Tommy and Joe. Wendy's manager, thank you for the three fifty. I will actually se- I'm actually going to send Tommy twenty bucks on Facebook right now because he does sound he sounds kind of desperate. So Tommy, I'm gonna I'm gonna send you twenty bucks, Tommy. That's I haven't even made twenty bucks this stream, but I'm gonna send you twenty bucks. Let me see. Hold on, how do I do this? Facebook, money. How the fuck do I do this? Okay, there it is. 20 NC 2020 There you go Tommy Nothing wrong with strip clubs Tommy you fat fuck Oh Michael Sachs Jr. Yeah they're lovely places support the women Support the girls you know what I mean Support those women Thank you so much Michael Sachs Jr. What's up So what's up Chad it's up to you guys dude Tommy has a job Big Fuego He has a job He's um He's got a job. Dude, I remember when I was working. Do you, do you guys remember back in... Oh, well, you probably don't. Some of you. A lot of you guys are new, but some of you guys may remember. But I just remember when I worked... Somebody the other day asked me, like, what does it feel like when people yell at you and troll the fuck out of you or, or whatever the case, whatever. Um, And I say it, it's the same thing as it's always been. Because back when... Back in 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015, hell, even in 2017, when I was working my full-time job and I was working overtime, I mean, dude, I was working 55 hours a week at my reg- at my just regular job. And I would get comments constantly every day from people. Get a real job. Why don't you get a fucking job? Why don't you get a fucking job? What else we got? I heard that. Oh, a little and bit I'm like, of the bubbly. That's I'm working That's triple it. overtime. What the fuck? Oh, oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. A little bit of the bubbly. Did you see Chris Hansen make a joke video about going after Joey Janela lol? Chris Hansen made a joke video about going after Joey Janela? Are you fucking serious? No. Where is this? I got to go find it. Holy shit. What? That is bizarre. And why don't we have Joey Janelle on the show yet? Let me t- let me tweet him right now. Joey, get the fuck on my show already. Let me, let me in fact, th- thank you for that donation, by the way. My name is Ryback. Cryback. Give me some more money. My name's Ryback. Oh. When are you going to come on the Joe Cronin show, bro? I don't want you here. I'm going to have to suck your ass. Do I have to suck you? Look at all these people. Preview. Everybody's ready. June Bug. He is the June Bug. What is June Bug doing? Every show... June Bug has been dropping mini bombs, and he's talking about this Friday night on Monetize This that something crazy is going down. I don't know what June Bug is doing, or what kind of money he has saved, or what in the world he's talking about. But he is talking about some kind of bomb happening on Monetize This. I'm tweeting Joey Janela right now. Uh, June Bug, thank you, dude. Holy shit, bro. Uh, much appreciated, my friend. Hold on, man. I'm typing and I'm... Bad boy. Where's Joey Janela? Why can't I fucking find his Twitter handle? Junebug, thank you, bro. That was badass. What is he going to do on fucking... Monetize this this Friday? Or it's tomorrow, actually. Jesus. All right, I just tweeted Joey Janela, so everybody should go retweet that and tweet at him and get him on here. We got to get him on the show already. I mean, me I've been DMing with him, and every once in a while in the DMs, I'll be like, dude, are you going to come on my show? What the fuck's the deal? And then he'll tweet me like, uh, yes, you, you, sometime, baby, or like a happy face or like a up, like a, like a a thumbs up or something. Fuck that shit, man. Let's do it. Where are we at, Ju- Where are we at, fucking Joey? 
Joey Chinella. Uh, June Bug, man, that was badass. 1,001 of clips uh, donated, but it's under 3 bucks, so it didn't read. He said, Joe, check what I sent you on Twitter DMs. Okay, let me go check. Let me go see. what We've got a few more minutes still here. Is it from, are you at MWM? From Kristen Ashley? What is this? Well, to be fair, I don't think the announcers know what to refer to a lot of things as on AEW. I mean, like seriously, being real, I don't think the announcers know a lot of what to say. I'm going to talk about this on Out of Nowhere. It's a wrestling thing, so I want to talk about it on Out of Nowhere. Um, I thank you for sending it to me, and I will. I should remember to talk about that tonight. I will send it to Jake. And uh, we should be able to talk about that because that is, that's definitely a wrestling thing. So we'll talk about that on Out of Nowhere in the next hour coming up. I got about 10 more minutes with you guys um, to straight shoot about whatever you guys want to talk about. If you want to call and you got something good, make it good, though, if you want to call. I don't even need calls. Don't even bother calling. But if you got something crazy to say or whatever the fuck, uh, bring it on real quickly and we'll get it on the air. Otherwise, uh, all the donations are open. Super Chat's down below. Streamlabs, Twitch alerts, that's open always. Uh, as always, on the uh, in the description box, um, if you want to become a patron, think about doing that. Got a lot of Patreon content coming, and uh, I almost said content, but you know, same thing, I guess. Really, me and Leah just got done watching Picard, so we're going to talk about that briefly a little bit, and that's going to go up on Patreon or that's going to go up on YouTube. But me and Leah's uh, "Till Death Do Us" podcast will go up uh, on Patreon soon. So, let me see here trying to figure shit out um where has triple m been where's where's triple m been i want to thank six for becoming a ten dollar patron low-key elliot for becoming a two dollars and uh, everybody else has gone up as well uh let me see here matthew james wanted me to oh yeah so yeah the uh, see. Yeah, he got docked. Basically, Chris Hansen and Onision got docks. They both got docks, like both of them. And uh, the the coronavirus is, I guess, it's starting to spread contact because most of the cases um, in the U.S. have been like individual cases. Someone came here, was diagnosed, they had it, whatever. But now, now you're starting to see people who did not go to China now having it. So now it's it started to spread. Um, updates on the deaths, deaths surpassed 200, um, coronavirus declared a global health emergency. Um, that's crazy. State department elevates China travel advisory. Do not travel. Um, people are striking the, the flight attendants, the, uh, the pilots striking, not wanting to travel to China. We're even seeing some Chinese wanting to not come here, but to, they actually want to protect us, some of them, and that's not what their people are doing. So. It's a very weird situation. It's, I guess it's pretty freaky. I mean, but the flu is still killing people more. I mean, but I mean, this isn't good because now there's another thing. Do you know what I mean? Like it's, it's the thing that sucks is that now you have the flu and you got this and you got something else and you got the other shit. So now there's just another thing that can kill you this winter, especially if you're old though. I think 90% of the cases are elderly and by elderly, I mean over 70, any like people over 70 are dying 90%. I don't think anybody has died who's. I don't know how many people have died, actually. Oh, Wish a I had little the bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's Want it. some bubbly? Look at this stuff. Oh, oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. <laughs> Get on Twitter, Joey responded, bro. Let's do it. Oh, let's do it. Joey Janela, let's do it. Joey Janela said, let's do it. Hold on, let me hit him up. Are you around? Tonight, four of you. All right, Janelle is in. I'm DMing him. All right, DM DM went in, man. DM went in. All right, so we got Joey. I mean, listen, Joey's been Joey's been hanging around anyway. He he's game to do this shit anyway. He's been watching. He's been hanging out. 
Uh, that shit the other night I thought was really funny with his middle finger stuff. I thought that was really funny. But I'm going to try to get Joey for tonight. I hit him up. Bro, come on tonight. Let's go. It's beer time. Let's do it. Uh, maybe I'll start beer goons up again with Joey, and we'll just do beer goons. That'd be funny. I'll drive to New Jersey. We'll do beer goons. We got a lot of stuff to ask Joey. Like, going back to, like, what he thought when I first started fucking with him on Twitter and and all that other bullshit and how he how he met a fan of Joe Cronin show and Joey Janela and how that fan talked to Joey and the next day he unblocked me and then he followed us like I mean that guy I forget who you are now out there if you're listening but whoever you are man you bridge the gap bro you fucking bridge the gap of Joey Janela dude you really did it you really made the guy see like like, here's the deal. Oh, he can't do it tonight. He's out. All right. Well, he's out tonight, so he can't do it tonight. We'll figure it out, though, bro. We'll figure it out. We're on the small channel tonight. We'll be on the big We'll be on the big channel later. Somebody else, by the way, yeah, that's what it is. Do an hour or two. Hell yeah. If you're in Jersey, Boston ever, I'll come out, too. But we can do phone for this. When you free this week, whenever. Uh, Joey is ready to go, baby. Joey is loaded. He's ready to do it, man. All right, so not tonight, but we will do it. He's out tonight. And you know what? When Joey Janelle is out, you know what that means. He's fucking, he's pounding a beer and then pounding a pussy. That's what's happening. That's what he's doing tonight. He's pounding a beer and a pussy. Fucking awesome. Uh, you're welcome, buddy. Keep up the awesome work and excellent videos. Caden, are you the one that did it? Are you the one that did it, bro? And, and D, by the way, whoever it was, DM me again because you also had the video. You sent me the video of you talking to Joey. And I think we did play it on a show, but it was it, what you did changed everything. He thought this was like some kind of Jim Cornette fucking hate group or something. Like we hated on him because of Jim Cornette. He didn't realize I had a show and all these other things. He didn't even know. So, man, you bridged the gap, dude. Bridge the gap. Uh... Damn, Joey's fast. Yeah, he is. Podcast of the Wrestlers should be on Joe Cronin Show channel for sure. Yeah, it will be on. It'll be on. It'll be on one of the big ones. I mean, dude, I've had a lot of people on the Joe Cronin Show. Do you not like people don't realize it? I've had Jim Cornette, Jim Ross, Kenny Bolin. I mean, uh, uh, Diamond Dallas Page, uh, Jeff Jarrett, Chris um, Christopher Daniels. Um, you know, Drew McIntyre, uh, Jeff uh, Travis Gordon, Flip Gordon. Um, you know, Vinnie Marcellia, TK Ryan. I mean, the list goes on. I don't even remember the other ones. There's a whole bunch of people. We had a shitload. Adam Rose, um, Ted DiBiase. I mean, there's so many. I don't even remember. I said Jim Ross already. Jim Ross, Cody Rhodes. Um, shit. I don't even know, dude. There's more. I don't even remember. We've had a lot of people on Joe Cronin show over the years. Like seriously. I mean, it's probably only, it's probably only been about 40 wrestlers, but I don't really look for interviews that much. Yeah, I should keep doing the AEW talent as much as I can. Yeah, the Cody Rhodes interview, I was happy with that one because I think I asked, I thought I asked pretty good questions on that. Now, the only problem with that one was the initial, uh, the initial video about Bray Wyatt. That one killed it on the views because I knew that question was topical and I could title it to make it topical. But Cody Rhodes' interview isn't going to do as well as a topical thing. So, you know, the Cody Rhodes uh, uh, clip that I put out there about Bray Wyatt, you know, that did 18,000 views and that did, you know, that made the news everywhere. It made every wrestling headline line everywhere. Every wrestling website, every news site, podcast, video, whatever, everything. That video made it. So that video was really good. That really was really fun, really good. Really enjoyed that. what happened with that video. That was a great, well-done thing. But the actual interview that I did with Cody Rhodes, the full interview, it only did just over 5,000 views on YouTube. You know what I mean? So that would have been nice if this was... I was hoping for like maybe 50,000 views on the Cody Rhodes AEW single video, and then I was hoping maybe for ten to 20,000 on the uh, Brandy one. But I think it got buried a little bit because of releasing it right after the other one. So I think I I think probably would have been better if I waited to release the full interview for another day or two. But that's okay. It still uh, was really cool. And Cody was cool to us and he gets everything. You know, he gets the 
the craziness. What is this? Who? Are, what are people sending me here? Oh, 8,000 cases have been recorded of uh, coronavirus. Wow. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> Back down, Janelle, you cunt. Someone's... <laughs> what the fuck? Jesus, it's it's still real to you. <laughs> Fucking Joey Janela goes, back down, Janela. Joey Janela, you cunt fag. And then Joey wrote, grow up. And then he wrote, don't deserve to be on his podcast. Go play backyard fairy wrestling with your friends. You re-re. What the, f- <laughs> what the fuck? That's El Gallo de Oro. The white way to say it. What else Jesus, oh, what the hell? A little bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's Want it. some bubbly? Look at this stuff. Oh, <laughs> oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's Fuck Joey Janela. Why do you hate uh, Joey Janela so much? What do you, I mean, like, you know, we actually, you know, we're getting a guy on the show and you attack him. I mean, why would you do that? What the hell are you doing? What are you doing? By the way, Joey's already fucking friends with me, so he doesn't care. You could call him a fucking whore face. He doesn't care. Um, he already DM'd me about you. <laughs> I'm like, well, that guy's a great a great listener. <laughs> I didn't even call you a troll. I said, yeah, that guy's a good listener. <laughs> this audience is nuts. I love it. That's funny, though, kind of. Wow, the fight is going down on Twitter right now. Everybody go give uh, Joey Janela some love on Twitter. Don't tell him to fuck himself, though. That's... That's kind of weird. But hey, fuck it. He keeps it real. If Listen, if, if uh, De Oro doesn't like him, fuck it. I mean, listen, keep it real. Keep it real, baby. I mean, do whatever you got to do. We'll have him on the show. You can call in and yell at him, I guess, maybe. How about that? He'll do it. He don't care. But anyway, I got to get out of here, man. Um, I got to get ready for out of nowhere. So I'm going to go get ready for out of nowhere. And uh, thank you guys for the support during this stream. Much appreciated. Thanks to Tommy for calling up, surprising me out of nowhere. It's pretty fun. And for all you guys being badasses with the bad boys coming to the Joe Cronin show, we knew he would. It's just a matter of, like, I hadn't said anything to him in a while. And, you know. What the fuck is this? Oh, yeah, I see what I see. What, what's up, Awandi? How you doing, man? Tweet Joey to come on the show. Let him know we want him. Yeah, let him know. He already, he already said yes, so he's coming on. We just got to get him on. We got to get him on. He knows we're crazy. He knows we're fucking crazy. Um, Thank you again to Junebug, who dropped the uh, the big the big dono earlier for the 40 bucks. I'll be live in about 35, 40 minutes or less for out of nowhere. A lot, there is so much wrestling to talk about. It's unbelievable almost. Um, I watched Picard. It was all right. Not thrilled about the swearing in Star Trek. Doesn't make any sense, but hey, it is what it is. Thanks for modding everybody who's there for that. And I will see you guys in a few minutes over on Joe Cronin Show. See you then.